I'll quit my job the day I die. I'll quit my job the day I die. I break my back and never cry. I break my back and never cry. I'm losing all my hair, losing all my hair. I'm losing all my hair because a man provides. I'm standing on a chair, standing on a chair. I'm standing on a chair because I earn my life. I earn my life. I earn my life. I learned it from my father and I tell it to my wife. Jesus Christ, don't tell me not to hurry. I wouldn't be so worried if I wasn't always right. While you're asleep, I'm terrified. While you're asleep, I'm terrified. I see the end before my eyes. I see the end before my eyes. A marker on a grave, marker on a grave, marker on a grave, and I know I'm the one who died. And underneath the name, underneath the name, underneath my name, it says he earned his life. I earned my life.
Yippee, 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 yippee. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's my sillies. It's my sillies. Oh my goodness, it's my silly little Twitch chat. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I am still very, very sick. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a little sicky stream. Welcome to a little sicky stream. I didn't have work today. And that is no excuse for why I started at 2 p.m. today and not 3 p.m. I literally just want as much time as possible to play this game on stream because I've been waiting for like four months to play this game and then I've had this game since like the beginning of the year. So I've been waiting patiently for like two or three weeks to play this game. Don't you stop peeing on the sub goal. There is no sub goal. There's a dodo goal. I'm going to stop that. You stop that. Okay, you can eat pizza. That's fine. I don't care. But don't pee on the don't pee on my dono goal. That's not nice. I'm just trying to change my name, dog. Um today though we're playing a game that I cannot put in my stream title properly because I will get banned. But we're playing Super Lesbian Animal RPG today. It's a it's a wonderful silly little 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 earthbound style RPG where you play as a bunch of furries and they're all gay, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to play this game. I'm so excited to play this game. You don't understand how excited. I've literally been waiting to play this game for ages. So I'm going to open the game. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Do not say that. That's not nice. We're playing Super Lesbian Animal RPG today. Okay, I hope that's... I hope it's not too loud. But we're here. We're gonna play the game. We're... I'm ready to play the game. I've been ready to play this game. For like so freaking long, are you kidding me? Let me do this real quick. Okay, there's nothing else I could do. Um, actually, wait, hold on. Um, uh, happy video. Okay, okay, just making sure everything is correct. Everything is correct. I'm ready. We're gonna play the game now. We're gonna play the game I've been waiting to play for like four months. I'm so excited. Okay, toggle, screen size, display size. Okay, whatever. Um, actually, hold on, let me move chat over here, too. So I can seize you guys better. Over here, do that. Okay, yippee, we're gonna play the game. And should we play it on normal, or should we play it on easy, is the question. Um, this game was designed to be played, offers a moderate challenge for fans of RPGs. For those who care about the story, then the challenge provides boosted stats. I'm very interested in the story, but I don't know if... I don't know if going easy is the right way to do this. Also, the controls are going to take some getting used to. Easy? Bet. Um, enable additional guidance. You'll occasionally get a more direct hint on what to do next. Denoted with blue text. I am stupid, so I am absolutely gonna need that. Here we go, chat. Over a thousand years ago, the goddess Fortuna granted the mortals of her planet the gift of magic. This single act of kindness forever changed the course of history. Now able to harness the arts of the gods, the mortals flourished in this new arcane era. Grand cities powered by magic were built, plagues were cursed, or plagues were cured, and lands were connected by new means of transportation. Centuries later, most people have grown accustomed to their fantastical reality. Magic now coexists with modern technology, as part of everyday life. But even today, many young people still find themselves chasing dreams of fame, glory, and moderate financial stability with the help of magic. These people seek to become adventurers. 
This game looks so cute. The Sapphire Island. Sapphire? Like sapphic? Oh my goodness. I'm reading so much into this because it's so lesbian coded. It's just for me. It's just for me, chat. Hey, what if we met a dragon or something? That'd be pretty cool. Surely we'd already met a dragon at some point. What about back in high school? Wasn't one of our classmates a dragon? Are you thinking of Josh? He's an armadillo lizard, not a dragon. Oh yeah. What about you though? Anything you want to do in this adventure? Um, maybe we could, uh, huh. I guess I haven't put much thought into it. I don't know, I'm not too picky. Hey, be honest with me, Mel. Are you still down for this adventuring guild thing with Claire and Jody? Well, you're still excited, right? This is a great opportunity for you. You know I'm pumped and I'm grateful that you want to support me, but this is a huge undertaking for you too. I mean, of course I'm nervous. And yeah, our lack of tangible progress so far hasn't been the biggest confidence booster, but we're doing it together, right? And at the end of the day, I think that makes it worth trying. That's the spirit. We'll be the coolest fighting duo Green Ridge has ever seen. And man, how lucky am I to have such a cute adventuring partner. Oh, stop. Hold on. I'm going to move chat so you guys can see the, the silly little, the sillies, the silly littles, and their silly little, the silly little talk thingies. Get a room, you two. Who's there? Weren't you in the middle of something important? Oh, duh. Come on, Mel. Let's finish this little treasure hunt. Let's see. The next clue is travel north until you find the spot where two paths cross. Furry lesbians? Yeah, that's the whole game! Oh, sick. Okay, so I'm here at the... Okay, hold on. They, is that Minx? They grow up so fast. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, sound volume. Let's go a bit down. There we go. Pink Fox? Yeah. Um, what is... Art? Yes. Additional guidance? Some. Uh, normal. Change how fast you move without holding the sprint key? Oh, that's fine. Text sounds. Distance controls the loot generated distance the game contains. Hold the sprint key to adjust. Okay. Um, bu 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 I think we're good. I think we're good. Anyway, look, it's them. It's Melody and, and Allison. Okay, how do I? Here we go. Gotta take some getting used to. The controls, at least. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna keep going. I think this is it. I see a pink fox. I go, yes, this is minx underscore demuri. Why is it minx underscore demuri? What? What? That's mega cringe. Uh, nice work, Mel. I mean, this is less two paths crossing and more like a big axe someone made with dirt, but this is probably it. Let's see, the next clue is from there, search for the lonely tree. Is it this one? This tree that looks oddly different, I guess? I don't know. Oh no, it's, it's obviously just right here. This looks like the loneliest tree out here. I don't know, it doesn't look lonely to me. Feels like this projecting our expectations for how it should feel. Please cease the out-of-pocket comments about the quality of the clues. Now <laughs> let- oh wait, I think I see something up ahead. So far, I'm in love with this game. I am- oh, it's a tre- it's a treasure chest. I'm scared. For your final test, you must use your wits to discern the identity of who has summoned you here. Claire, what are you doing? It's her! It's the cow lady! It's the cow lady! She's just like me for real! 
Oh, come on, was it that obvious? Who else would slide directions for a scavenger hunt under my door this late at night? Okay, true. So what exactly was the point of this? Is this more training or something? Yes and no, I need to get you in an adventurous mood to prepare you for what happens next. Now, our guild mission over there last few months. Over these last few months have been less than optional. Yeah, we know. But what if I told you I have something that could change that? Is this witch stuff? Please tell me this is witch stuff. What I have here is... Oh my god! It's a pig! Hey chat, how's the, how's the volume of the music and stuff too? Behemoth boar! I guess I'm just gonna attack. Oh my god, no, that's horrible. This volume's perfect? Okay, good. It's a cop? You're right, you're so right, it's literally a cop. Behemoth Boar chomps down on Alice's cheeks on Allison's cheap sword, shattering it. Oh crap. Okay, keep guarding them. Kablam. Oh my god. <gasps> Claire! Get out of here, you! Oh my god. Allison, are you hurt? I've survived worse. I'm just glad you're okay. So that wasn't part of the plan, but I'm impressed by what I just saw. What, by me getting my butt kicked yet again? A lot of people would have given up after so many setbacks, but not you two. Your hearts are in the right place and you're willing to put in the work. You just need the power to back it up, which is why I have this. This book contains a secret ritual passed down to us by Fortuna, the goddess of magic herself. It also has an absurd amount of magical energy, which I think is what attracted that monster just now. Whoa, where did you get that? I found it while exploring! So as the story goes, when Fortuna first taught magic to us mortals way back when, nobody had the training required to cast spells. But instead of giving up on us, Fortuna came up with a ritual to awaken her acolyte's latent magical abilities. And I just so happen to have the instructions for that right here. It won't give you the power of a goddess, and you'll still need a lot of practice, but it'll give you a running start. You just need to answer a few questions for me. What do you say? Uni will love this bot? I freaking hope so, dude. I've been waiting to play this game for absolute ages. Oh my god. Mm. One more thing, chat. If I take a break from talking to just, like, stop... If, you, if they're just like, I take an extended period to just stop talking, I'm either drinking water or um, I'm having a coughing fit. So, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Have you guys seen the Hatsune Miku Puss in Boots figure? It's like the cutest thing ever. Oh my god, okay. Um, what do you say? Let's do it. No, let's, let's not. Isn't this cheating? Is this cheating? Is it really fair to just get magic powers for free? People work hard for those. I mean, it's not free. You still have to work very, very hard to figure out how to do anything with your new mana, but... What's really unfair, unfair is the thought of you two being left in the dust just because you didn't have your whole lives planned out at age 14. I mean, come on. You probably would have started training years ago if you do adventuring wasn't a pipe dream. This is just a nudge in the right direction to make up for lost time. Okay, when you put it like that, this sounds like just what we needed. Well, if Mel's in, then I'm in. Excellent. Let's start with you, Melody. What do you want to- why do you want to be an adventurer? Well, Allison wants to join you and Jody in your guild, but she knows I'd be worried sick if she ran off without me. So I thought, well, I'm not really doing anything else with my life. Maybe I could go with her and look out for her. Try to keep her safe. I see. I'm not the best fighter, so I think I'd be more useful if I had healing magic. I mean, I tried being a healer, but without magic all I can really do is hand out potions. And I don't want to keep being the team water girl. I assumed as much. You'd make a great cleric. Well, not quite. I was thinking I'd rather be a... a paladin. Really? Like a noble crusader with a coat of honor and all that jazz? You sure? I just like the sound of it. I totally have a coat of honor. What? No, I totally have a code of honor and all that jazz. 
Well, I guess you know yourself better than anyone. I trust your judgment. And you, Allison? You know me! Adventurin's in my blood. I just want to be strong and fight monsters, really. Care to be a little bit more specific? Evil monsters would be preferable. I don't have any reason to fight nice monsters. Okay, smartass, but if that's all you're gonna give me to work with, you don't get to complain if you think your powers suck. No promises. Great. Now let's begin the ritual. Oh dear. Relax, it's just a little spell. I'm following the instructions to the letter. Is this... dangerous? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Nani? What? Where am I? Melody, are you still with us? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you, Claire. You had us worried for a second. Dang, I wish I could see what you're seeing. Wherever your consciousness is right now. Anyway, Allison didn't need as much magic, so she's already done, but... I've still got a few final preparations to make for you, Melody. I'd suggest you look around a bit while you wait. Oh, I gotta ride the stars. Okay. This game is so cool. This game is so pretty, too. Who knew there would be a game out there just for me? A furry cow lesbian. Oh my goodness. Is that a demon? Claire? There's some kind of shadowy figure watching me. Is this normal? Huh? I, I don't know, maybe. I've never experienced this myself. That might always be there. Uh, hello? Oh, okay, goodbye, I guess. It just disappeared! See, it left you alone, it's fine. I'm sure it's more scared of you than you are of it. I can follow it? <laughs> no, I can't follow it, okay. Why do I get the feeling I'm gonna have so many clips from this game? Okay, Melody, I have one last question to ask you before we can complete the ritual. A whole lot of magical power is currently being channeled into you, and we need to find a way to focus that. You want to be a paladin, and paladins derive their power from faith. I'm not really all that religious. Doesn't have to be religious, let's just try filling in the blank. G Gawk? Where did you learn that word? Where did you learn that? Uh, my power is derived from my faith in... Uh, my unyielding love for my wolf girlfriend. Oh, wait. Trees? Tr diamond? Heart? What about the power of love? That's the cheesiest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, I, I know. But it could work. Especially with how you're inseparable you two are. That idea sounds pretty gay. I like it. If you're mainly doing this to follow your girlfriend around and heal her, then the source of your power will never be far away. I don't see you two breaking up, but even if you did, you could still use the feelings of platonic love as a power source. It's like a symbiosis sort of thing. Well, okay, maybe that's not the best mental image. Well, whatever. This door leads to the path of an amorous paladin, strengthened by a faith in the power of love. I want to see the other paths. You're just like Claire for real? Is that because I'm a cow? Well, I, uh, appreciate nature. I like living out in the woods, after all. That's a little spiritual, right? Could you rephrase that so it uses the word faith? I have faith in nature? I mean, that ecosystem. It sure is going. I guess I can work with that. Most things in nature have arcane energy. You can just borrow some of that. Nice choice, Mel. I think it's a good fit. Uh, the path of the woodland paladin strength by a faith in mother nature. It's because you're a, a, a tender mentor? Aww. Really? That's awesome. Thank you. That's, I appreciate that, actually. Would faith in my own abilities count? What? Well, I feel like I'm kind of a natural healer. It just feels right. If it can be any faith, then it could just be in my faith in my ability to heal. You're telling me that you want to believe so hard that you have magical healing abilities 
that that belief itself gives you the arcane power need to actually cast healing spells. Which would in turn prove that belief right, like some kind of magical self-esteem or Ouroboros. Is that what you're saying? I, uh, I mean, resolute paladins are a thing, but it's not that simple, Melody. Mel did help me out last flu season. I probably would have been in bed another week without her. Not only because she brought me medicine, I think I just like having her around help. She has, like, a soothing presence. Oh, they're so cute, dog. What? I mean, healing's healing, right? Just juice it up with some magic or whatever. Fine, if, if this is what you really want, then I guess I can make it work. This story leads to the path of a resolute paladin strengthened by sheer force of will and a faith in one's own abilities. Okay. I'm thinking of the Amorous Paladin, but honestly, a Woodland Paladin sounds pretty cool too. Because then you always have- because you're always in nature, but I get the feeling that these things are- like, all of them are gonna have their downsides. Like, either you're gonna get teleported to another dimension without much nature, or you're gonna, like, like, something's gonna make you not believe in yourself really well, or like- uh, Mel and Allison are gonna, like, split up by accident. Because then you always have wood. <laughs> no! Ow! I feel like there's only one right answer. This door leads to the path of the amorous paladin strengthened by a faith and love. Choose this path. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm going! Become Magical Girl. And with that, the choice was made. Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Act 1. Several weeks later. Oh! Oh my goodness! She's so cute! Well, I actually almost look the part. Not bad for a couple of things I had in my closet and a few pieces of cheap gear off the internet. Your name is Melody Amaranth. You're a timid fox who lives near the small town of Green Ridge on the, on the scenic Sapphire Island. Uh, Melody A 100% matches you. <laughs> she's 22 and she's trans, she's just like me, dog. No, oh, she's just like me. Likes quiet evenings, snow, nature, chocolate, girls, dislikes, bad stuff. She's just like me. She's just like me for real. You'd live a quiet life, a few ambitious. You've lived a quiet life with a few ambitions since high school, mostly content to let yourself coast along on autopilot, but you always felt like something was missing. The naked lady on Twitch, don't say that about her. That's not nice. A few months ago, something finally clicked, and you came to two important realizations about yourself. One, you're deeply in love with your adventurous best friend, Allison Goletta. And you probably have been for a long time. Oh. As it turns out, the feeling was mutual! Oh my god! And two, if Allison has, the heart set, has her heart set on being an adventurer, then maybe you could join her. As a healer. Okay, enough holing up in my house. I've read all the material Claire gave me and run through my mana management exercises a thousand times. I think it's finally time to head into town and show everyone what I've learned. Can I move chat back now? I think I can move chat back, okay. Let me get a feel, oh, okay, let's see. Okay, that seems perfect, actually, for... Party, it's just me. Quest, equip, equip? Difficulty selector? Switch between normal difficulty and easy mode, which boosts the party's stats. Oh, I'm already in easy mode, so... Okay, okay, okay. What can I do here? 
already remembered to take my hormones and anxiety meds. I always keep some extras on me in case I need to spend the night at Allison's. She's just like me for real, dude. Oh my God, she's just like me. She is just like me. She's just like me. Oh my God. Okay, what else can I do here? Toilet. I'm already squeaky clean. Okay, sick, sick, sick. What is this dog bed for? Pet beds always look so cozy. It's like a little nest made out of pillows. I'm almost jealous. Almost. Okay, there's gonna be no perfect place to have chat, so I'm just gonna keep it there. Take a nap and recover your health and mana. Sure, just in case. Oh, that nap song is so cute! Okay, let's see. What else is here? We need to find the Shelby character. Inspect the bookshelf. It's been a while since I took a look at what's on the shelf. Let's see. Well, there's a few graphic novels, like including some that Allison and Claire recommended for me. There's some regular novels too, but I mostly... Mostly ones I read as a kid. Man, I don't read much anymore. Do I just not have the energy as an adult? Oh lord. And there's all my overpriced college textbooks. I don't even want to think about my next semester of online classes and the loans and... Oh, this shelf is more depressing than I remembered. <laughs> Time to stop looking at it. <laughs> I want to inspect the poster. Allison had a few of these autographed posters made last winter solstice. She gave them to everyone at our gift exchange and said they'd be valuable someday. Of course, it was a gag gift, and then she gave everyone their real gifts. But I got her a real—I got her real good when I called her bluff and actually hung it up. Wow, that was a really obvious ploy for attention, huh? Can't believe it took me so long to figure out I had a huge crush on her. Oh, they're cute, dog. They're cute. I bought this painting of Green Ridge from Faith at her last art show. She really captured the town well. Whoops, looks like I left my laptop open on my blog overnight. Oh yeah, I was looking through my photos and reminiscing, huh? Oh, look at this. Look at, they're so cute. Wow, look at the way I was looking at Allison here. We weren't even dating yet. I guess this was one of our friends... I guess this is why none of our friends were surprised when we announced we were dating a few months back. Oh, who are they? This is from Claire and Jody. This is from when Claire and Jody first started their adventuring guild. They were so excited. I guess it's our adventuring guild now, huh? Claire said she doesn't really like this one, though. She was standing close to the camera and she says it makes her look huge. I can sympathize with that, honestly. The queer in the porch. I love mommy and the muscle mommy. Don't you mean the moomy? Uh, the book I've been using to study healing magic. Turns out it's a lot more complicated than I thought. I've got the basics down at the moment, but I have to try some more advanced ones once I'm a bit more experienced. Okay, we're finally ready to go. Now uni is away? I don't get it. <gasps> she has a cat! My New Year's resolution! It's June now, so let's see how many of these things I'm gonna do. Number one, read more. Well, reading that material on healing spells has to count, right? Number two, be more outgoing. I'd say I'm working on that. Number three, get ripped. Nope. Well, I guess some progress is better than none. Come here, cat. Hi, Shadow. <laughs> you okay looking after the house while I'm out? No! Good boy. If you need anything, I give you permission to order delivery when I'm out, okay? Every trans woman comes with a cat. Sometimes it's in their ender chest. That's a really fucking funny. <laughs> Where's my cat then? I don't have one yet. It's nice having a fireplace in the winter and makes it all warm and cozy in here. Oh god, it really it smells really musty and dusty right now. When's the last time I cleaned it? Probably avoid breathing in too much of the fireplace air before I put myself in a coughing fit. Already had breakfast. Okay, sick. I wonder if there's any coins between the couch cushions. Oh my god, I found 100 gold! Wow! Isn't that convenient? Um, anything else? There's just a self-reflecting pet bowl. The self-refilling pet bowl. Definitely one of the greatest miracles of modern magic. Um, it's me and Allison. We look so cute together in this one. Allison has the same photo hanging in her house. Oh, guys, they're gay! Time to go. Oh my god, this game is so cool. I didn't even notice when washing them, but these jeans are way too small for me. Allison must have left them here at some point. 
They're still a little damp though, so she can get them some other time. Okay, bet. Wait, more options? Yeah, these pants are really- Oh wait, there are more options, oh my god, hold on. These pants are really comfortable, but I probably won't get to wear them too often anymore. Claire said I should wear something more thematically appropriate for a paladin. Like the skirt I got online. The triangles around the bottom are supposed to enhance my healing magic or something. At least it's cute. I don't really like wearing my guild tarband to bard. It feels formal. I mean, having a uniform gives people expectations. Mainly the expectation that we know what we're doing. Hopefully Claire isn't mad at me for not wearing it. You're not new here, and you know that. What is this? A punching bag? I've really gotten use... I've really gotten a lot of use out of this punching bag Jody gave me. Every afternoon I've been doing some basic combat practice, and then if I get my hands sore, I take a break to practice some healing magic on myself. It's no substitute for the real thing, but hopefully the practice pays off. Shout out to the VOD Watcher. Shout out to the VOD Watcher. Okay. Okay, now to head for- wait, is that a monster? Weird, they usually keep away from this part of the coast. Guess it's time to put my training to the test. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a hermit cra- a humble hermit appears! Okay, so I have- I have healing, okay. I have healing magic. Oh, that was easy. Glad that's over. Oh hey, treasure! <laughs> this is awesome. Hey, that wasn't so bad. I should be able to make it to Green Ridge no problem. And if I get a little banged up, I can just use first aid. To use first aid outside of battle, open the menu and select skills. It wouldn't be a bad idea to hit the save station right there. Okay. Oh, there's so many files. Okay, good. Kisses? What? Are kisses like a thing I need to get now? Do I have to go out kissing people? Um, let's fight stuff. I want to fight stuff and like, like get levels, I guess. Enemy Enome appears? Die. Oh wait, there's three of them. Oh wait, wait, wait. This, I can use healing magic soon. I'll use healing magic. BBL, it is wife time? Okay. Have fun with wife. Have fun with wife time. I'm gonna keep playing this game, because this game is so, so cool. Hey, we did it! Yippee! Oh, hey, treasure. Oh, ether and a potion. Oh my god. What else can I find on this beach, I wonder? Specifically, is there anything else I can fight on this beach? Because I do want to fight stuff on the beach. I do want to keep fighting stuff. Oh, this game is, like, really, really cool. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy that this game exists, dude. Oh, there's more stuff to fight over here. Um, can I get... No? Okay. You. Fight time. Humble Hermit. There's two of them. Fantastic. Fantastic. I sweep. I sweep every time. Uh, ooh, another potion. I get the feeling that's gonna come in handy later. When I have inevitably need to heal another party member and I'm out of mana or something. Um, this is not perspective. Okay, so that's just down there. How do I get down there? You, fight time. Uh, Aname and Humble Hermit. Okay, this is fine. These are all one-shottable, so I guess we're fine. I'll use- I'll use healing after, like, one more battle, I think. Oh wait! I leveled up! Um, sick. 
feels like I'm already getting better at this. Allison's gonna be so impressed. I'm gonna fight stuff down here. Just because I can. Yippee! Okay, let's get you out of here. Oh my god. I'm not a- I'm not like the biggest fan of traditional RPGs, but this is a lot of fun. Like, I'm not that into Earthbound or anything like that, but this is like a lot of fun. I'm more into like JRPGs, like stuff like Fire Emblem and the fucking SAO games. I'm really into Fatal Bullet. You can like clown on me all you want, but Fatal Bullet is like, it's like really good to me. But this is like fun. This is fun. I get the appeal of this. This is like a lot of fun, I think. Treasure. I keep getting gold. This is cool. I always wonder what's behind this door near my house, but I guess it's none of my business. Okay, but I'm gonna find out one of these days though. I am gonna find out what's over here. Yippee, it's dead. I keep finding more treasure. I'm gonna heal myself now, I think. That was a good decision. Oh, there's two snails and a picnic, oh my god. Oh, they're having a picnic, I better not disturb them. I don't really need to go out there anyway. Oh, okay, that's a cool way to block an area off, actually. You. Let me fight you. Oh wait, hold on, I forgot to... I forgot to, te I forgot to send a text message. That's it, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Oh my god, another level up! I'll be sure to put this to good use. Okay, sick. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm so good at this game. Um... Look at her! She's just like me for real, dog! What? Uh, Tim and Fox will live in the- okay, blah 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 blah. What else? What else is, is there to you? I swear I just... Okay. Whatever. I guess there's nothing really there. These controls take some getting used to because I'm used to WASDID controls. But this is fine. I don't really mind. Okay. Oh, there's a chest up here. Nice. 80 gold. Nice. I'm gonna make so much fan art of this game. Are you kidding me, dog? They have a cow lady as the is one of the protagonists. I can't just not like love this game. About Green Ridge. Green Ridge is a pretty nice place to live, I think. I mean, I've never lived anywhere else, but the people are friendly enough and it's nice and quiet. Well, except for that whole whaling curse incident with Claire. That week was uh, extremely loud. But it's usually pleasant here for at least a four four days a week. The wishing well, I should come back here with Allison. I should come back here with Allison. I'm going to save. What house is this? Probably mind my own business and stay out of strangers' houses, you're right. Who painted this tent on the ground? Oh, it's painted on the ground. <laughs> That's so f Who are you, you fastidious queer? Well, hello there, miss. The name's Raphael, traveling merchant extraordinaire you wouldn't happen to know any adventurer types in need of gear, would you? I was hoping to do a little business after dropping off a delivery for the Paladin Brigade. There doesn't seem to be much demand today. Oh, I I'm an adventurer in need of gear. Really? I'm, I'm still new, I suppose. I'm a paladin in training. But I could use some equipment. Well, my apologies. I should have known at a glance. 
You have the aura of a paladin. Actually, I, I don't know any aura spells yet, but thank you. In any case, perhaps some of my goods may aid in your paladin duties. Um, okay, let's see, what do you got, dude? What can I sell? Um, I don't want to sell anything, so what can I buy? Faux leather gauntlet. A gauntlet to enhance your punches, not particularly glamorous, but it's good for beginning adventures. Generic brand paladorns. A simple yet effective piece of body of, of armor for beginning players. Potion. Tier of Revival. A magical crystal with restoration properties. I'm going to take one of these. Uh, give me this too, I guess. I mean, I guess I'll take these. Yeah, okay. If you need anything else, miss, I'll be in town the rest of the day. Go to the equip menu, okay, bet. Weapon, faux leather gauntlet. And I need that. Awesome. I have stuff now. I just love seeing her, dog. I just love seeing her. She's so pretty and she's so cute and she's just like me for real. She's just like me for real. Uh, what's down here? Oh, it's just like a fishing dock, I guess. Ah, oh, the dock. One of my favorite spots in town. After a long day, it's nice to just sit here and listen to the ocean. Oh, this game is so cute. Oh my god. Oh, hey, Melody. Got a minute? I do. Hi, Jody. Hey, we missed, you ha we missed having you around town lately. What have you been up to? Everything okay? Straightforward answer. Play it cool. Oh, not much. Did some spring cleaning around the house, got a little reading done, learned my first healing spells, the usual. Nice! Still not quite sure I understand that magic thing Claire did with you and Allison the other week. It sounds like it paid off. Ask about the ritual? Don't? Okay. I was a little surprised you weren't there for the fo Fortuna magic ritual, actually. I guess it would have been more formal to have the whole guild, but I doubt I would have been much help. I know, I'm, you know I'm no magic expert, I leave that stuff to Claire. But hey, if you're picking up healing magic that quickly, maybe we'll be able to go on an expedition soon. Well, I don't know if I'm quite ready for that yet. Oh, it's not that scary, trust me. Claire hypes it up, but most of the places she wants to check out are harmless. Just some local wizard ruins where she thinks we might be able to find an artifact or two. It won't be like what happened last time, I promise. Still, I don't know, maybe sometime soon, but I'd like to practice a little more first. That's cool. This is all new for you. Go at whatever pace you're comfortable with. Anyway, I assume you're looking for Allison, right? Yes. Unsurprisingly, yes, I'm looking for Allison. Well, that's good. I'm sure she's dying to see you. If she hasn't texted you about it or anything, I think she's got some big news for you. Please tell me she didn't. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not another trampoline. Oh, thank God. I guess I probably shouldn't ruin the surprise then. Allison can tell you herself. You got me curious now. Well, I better get going then. Have a nice day, Jody. You too. That's such a cute interaction. Whoa, a grill. Jody's grill, her pride and joy. Okay, so this is Jody's house. Probably shouldn't barge into Claire and Jody's house on him. <gasps> Are they, you know, like us? Oh, the library. A library. Hi, welcome to the- Oh, hey, Melody. Hi, Mona. Is Claire in right now? No, your friend's not here. Hey, if you see her, could you tell her to get the crap out of the meeting room upstairs? To get her crap out of the meeting room upstairs? I know you guys are on a schedule, but that doesn't mean she can use it. She can use it as her personal office the rest of the week. I'd pack her crap up myself, but she some so put some sort of magical hex on her or something on the door to keep me out. I'll have a word with her if I see it. If I see her. Okay. That is a cute NPC. I have no business in there. <laughs> this is the magic section, but where are all the books? Maybe I'll take a look at some of those some other time. Okay. This is where we have our guild meetings, but I don't think anyone's in there right now. Okay. What is that door down there, though? Got no business back there. Okay, never mind then.
Um, there's a shop over here. I think someone's at the door. Hold on, I'll get it. Uh, hi, we're not ready yet. It's a little bat. Hold on, you guys can't see the bat. She's a bat. Look at, she's a bat. Oh, it's cute. But we're not ready yet. Come back tomorrow for the grand opening, okay? Bat. Bat. Oh, it's Allison's place. Turn on the radio? It's gotta be Allison's favorite song or something. She plays it all the time. We're gonna redecorate here and we'll finally move this couch so it's not a foot away from the TV. As much as I can go for a nap, I probably shouldn't be taking one in Allison's bed when she doesn't even know I'm in town today. Well, it would appear Allison's not hiding in her wardrobe to pop out and surprise me. Not this time. So a lot of stuff that hasn't been unpacked in here. I wonder if this axe would be useful. I'll just leave it here, though. It's a, it's a little pointy for me. So she's not at home. Goddess Fortuna and the Gift of Magic. The statue has got to be the most valuable thing on the archipelago. And also the fanciest. Cat wizard? So you whippersnappers fancy yourselves adventurers now, eh? How old are you? 17? 18? I'm 22. Uh, right, sir. 22 years old. Kids these days. No gumption. Why, back when I was your age, I already tried to conquer the world twice. If you kids didn't spend all your days doing this planking nonsense or whatever it is you do, you'd have a lot more time to be productive. You could learn a thing or two from my granddaughter, Pepper. She's very ambitious. Just full of machinations, that one. Well, it's been nice talking to you, Mr. Leone. No, it hasn't. Okay, dog, whatever you say. Is it a pig? Is it a pig person? Oh my god. Melody, hi, how's my favorite paladin doing today? Well, I've only been a paladin for a few weeks, and I'm already your favorite. Well, you're in my top four for sure. I don't know what a paladin really does, but I know you're giving it your all. Uh, thanks. So, how have things been going at Piglity's? Business hasn't exactly been booming, but hey, still living the dream. Oh, we got a good review from a food critic recently. I think they said we have ambiance. Do you know- did you know we had that? I don't even remember putting that on the menu. Well, that's great. Why are you just standing outside the restaurant on your day off, though? Oh, I was just waiting for Claire to stop by and grab her paycheck. I like giving it to her in person. If I don't see her in 10 minutes, I guess I'll just leave it in her and Jody's mailbox. I can remind her to drop by if I see her. That'd be great. Well, I'm sure you're busy with your adventure business or whatever. I won't keep you. See ya, Beverly. It was nice talking. That is one of my favorite NPCs now. Doesn't look like there are any jobs on the notice board today. I guess I'll have to check again tomorrow. Magic shop. Who are you? Hey, you and your friends are adventurers, right? Care to buy some spell books? Dad had a million of these old things collecting dust around the house, and we figured it'd be better to sell them to folks who actually want to use them. If these were Mr. Leone's, aren't they a little... dangerous? Oh no, no, it's fine. He got rid of all the real scary ones years ago, and when he finally gave up villainy. At least that's what he tells me. Mom, if there are any dangerous... If they aren't dangerous, why won't you let me touch any of the spell books? I'm sorry, honey. These are for grown-ups only. Something danger is da If something's dangerous, it's probably ten times as dangerous in the hands of an eight-year-old. Or a hundred times as dangerous with me, right, Mom? That's right, sweetie. But my dad's just a hoarder. Uh, when he was an adventurer, he'd just grab any book he found, whether it was useful to him or not. We got plenty of spell books that would be useful for adventurous kids like you without being too dangerous, though. But you're gonna have to come back tomorrow if you'd like to pursue our wares. We ain't officially open yet. Has been added to the qu Okay, I'll come back tomorrow then for, for, for magic books. I feel like I should probably find Allison first. She might enjoy getting her fortune told. Aw, they're gonna go on a date. I'm gonna save my game again. I just wish to. What is... Is there anything this way? Ooh.
construction. These bottles have been thoroughly smashed. Almost definitely Allison's doing. Okay, I'm gonna check out the rest of the town first then. Hi Faith, it's nice to see you out of your office for a change. Oh, hello Melody. Yes, it's been quite a week. Plenty of time for me to paint. Of course, with Green Ridge being quite quiet for this long, it's probably only a matter of time until someone causes a fuss. Probably Claire. It's usually Claire. <laughs> Speaking of Claire, how's your training going? It's going pretty well. I've just been studying on my own, but I already have a couple healing spells down. That's quite impressive for someone who's never studied magic before, you know. How'd you manage to pick it up so quickly? Claire didn't try any shortcuts with you, did she? Oh, uh, yes, I'm just a natural. Well, I suppose it's not completely unheard of. I've always thought you'd make a natural healer, personally, for what that's worth. Would it be safe to assume you're heading over to Allison to show her some spells? You know, Jody assumed the same thing. What a coincidence. Dear, you're always thinking about Allison. I'm not always thinking about Allison. I'm a busy girl, Faith. I've got lots of things on my mind, especially now that I'm a paladin. And where is this busy girl heading when she's done talking to me? Well, a Allison's place is a definite possibility. Go have fun with your girlfriend, Melody. You've earned a day off. Take care, Faith. You too. If you ever need anything else, blah, blah, blah. Okay. What is this? Paladin school? Paladin school? Oh my god, it's paladin school. <laughs> Melody, you're a paladin now, so I feel that I can entrust you with sensitive information regarding paladin brigade operations. Can you keep a secret? Uh, sure. I accidentally wedged my sword in this crack in the floor and I can't get it out. So I'm just trying to act casual and stand here with it until everyone leaves. It's very stressful. I could try and help you get it out? No, that would only cause a scene. Just think, how would the people of Greenridge react if they knew the new captain of the Paladin Brigade, their sworn protectors, was this incompetent? It'd be all over the tabloids. We have tabloids? I wouldn't know. I don't read such things. Everyone makes mistakes, Providence. This is the first mistake I have ever made in my life. Also, I'm not actually joining the Paladin Brigade, by the way. I'm with Claire's Guild, not you guys. Wait, really? That's... Uh... You know what? Forget everything you just heard. I love this game. I love these NPCs. I love this one, specifically now. I let them do most of the talking. Sup, I don't believe we met. The name's... Bethaniel? But everyone just calls me Beth the Beast. And they're Mary... Maryina. Hey. Um, hello, are you from around here? We traveled a long way on our righteous quest to see the local guardian. Almost ten blocks, probably. We're here to ask her what she's doing to spread the love of Greenridge. The love in Greenridge. And also to see if she'd like to hear our chill anime beats mixtape. Oh, Faith's right outside, you know. We didn't want to disturb her. Shouldn't you kids be in summer school or something? Actually, we're both on the honor roll. That's right, folks. <laughs> the man can't put us in summer school. So what do you mean by spreading the love? Like, being friends and sending good vibes? Good vibes are of utmost importance, especially for a guardian. She, like, sets the vibe for the whole town. But you're thinking small. We want to know if she's using her power to enact policies that will impact the town and its people in a positive way. Oh, Faith really doesn't get to decide laws or anything. She's not the mayor. Her job is to fix magic-related problems around the town and to help folks hunt by such hurt by such things. You know, monsters, magic relics gone haywire, evil wizards, that stuff. Oh, well, I would say protecting us from evil wizards is a pretty good way to spread the love. I still want to talk to her, though, so we'll just wait for her in here. Oh, sick. To the lore tab. Well, it was nice meeting you. Lore. I need water.
I'm also going to turn my light on, so. Okay, I'm back. We can continue. If you have an appointment with the Guardian, I'm afraid Miss Vincent isn't in right now. Oh, I know, I saw Faith painting outside my way in here. So do you need something else? I'm a little busy, Melody. Not really. I guess I just wanted to ask how things are going. I mean, I feel like we haven't really talked much since high school. Well, I started working out and got a job as the receptionist here at the tower. And uh, that's about it. Uh, cool. Sorry, I'm just a little preoccupied. Everyone's got problems they want Miss Vincent and the Paladins to fix. And I'm the one who has to filter those requests. I've got three separate calls today from folks claiming a wizard has broken into their homes and erased their memories of their email passwords in their sleep. Did that really happen? No. But now I have to file a thorough report for every one of those calls. So I should get back to that. I feel bad for bothering that person, but also they shouldn't have been so rude. Ooh, a training room. Combat 101 tips for beginners. Uh, okay, whatever. I feel like I don't really gotta go through the training stuff. <sighs> Is this the same? No, it's not the same. Paladin Brigade HQ. Nice sword, Rhett. Is that a new one? Actually, it's an old one. I found it buried in my attic the other day. Old Guardian always made us use regulation armor and gear and stuff, so I never got to use this one back in the day. This bad boy was collecting dust until I realized that Faith would totally let me use it. Still got a lot of polishing to do, though. Isn't it just going to get dirty when you use it? Yeah, but if my sword's real big and shiny, then I might scare off evildoers without actually having to exert much effort. It actually happened to me a few times before, believe it or not. I mean, I wouldn't want to get hit with that thing, so I guess it makes sense. Let you get back to it then. See you around. God, the NPCs in this game are so cool. How about you? Try talking to my face instead of my armpit. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Melody. Faith told me you're a paladin now. Welcome to the club. Not the club as in the brigade, of course, but you know what I mean. Thanks, Holly. What specialization did you go with, by the way? I don't think Faith mentioned it. Oh, I'm an uh, Amoris paladin. <laughs> I knew it. That's so fitting for a lovey-dovey type like you. Um, thanks? Don't worry, kid. I meant that as a compliment. You just know what you're all about, and you're using that to your advantage. Just like how I know what I'm all about, being the biggest, strongest healer this town's ever seen. Say, you know, we actually have an amorous paladin on our team. Wait, really? Who is it? Rhett? Nope. It's Province. Oh my god, seriously? Seriously. She's all about her love for the town and all the people in it, wanting to protect them. But she shows it in some interesting ways. Most of which involve frowning. Don't tell her I told you that, by the way. She's a little embarrassed about it. She thinks people wouldn't take her seriously if they knew. But yeah, there are a lot of different types of love you can derive your power from. Although I have a feeling I already know what you're going with. It's exactly what you're thinking. Real happy for you, kid. Just be careful. Having your feelings for your girlfriend be the source of your magic as well. It's a lot of pressure to put on a relationship. You two seem real happy together. Try not to let things get weird because of all this. Thanks, Holly. I'll do my best. And one more thing. It's not much, but I figured you put it to good use. What is it? Ooh, a secondhand staff? That's hella cool. What? Free staff? Oh, it's... It's a little bent. Yeah, Staves and I don't really get along well. I wax stuff a little too hard with them. Still works, though. It'll give your spellcasting a little more oomph compared to a casting an empty hand. I mean, provided you actually equip it, you know. Well, thanks, Holly. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Or, uh, keep knock him alive. Because you're a healer. That new, 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 new. Oh, so I didn't actually need that gauntlet then, okay. 
Well, that makes sense. I'm just gonna go back and- oh no wait, if I have that, I can just give it to someone else, right? In the party. Let's go find the girlfriend. Ooh, there's an enemy right here. Meow shrooms? Meow shrooms? I'm gonna kill these things, are you kidding me? Like, I feel bad, sure, but also, meow shrooms? Uh, 30 gold, nice. Is this some kind of treasure map? Let me take a closer look. One, two, three, four. Hold on, I gotta take a picture of this. So I know what the fuck is going on. This is definitely gonna come back very soon. Well, it's not super clear, but I'll keep an eye out for the treasure. Treasure map. Uh, okay. These flowers seem interesting. Do they grow like this naturally? More stuff to fight, I guess. Hoop snake. Oh no, it's strong. Hoop snake. God, I'm tired. An hour? Uh, it's not long enough. I want to play this game all night. Another hoop snake. Oh, 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 I know this. I know this. I have the photo. Oh my god. I was so smart to take a photo. I'm pretty sure it was... Okay, so there's a little noise. So that's one. Oh my god, where's my photos? So it's one, two, three, four. Bam! I found it. Oh, a revival thing. Nice. I'm gonna go up. Oh, wait, there's a chest up here. This is gonna be like a mimic or something, right? Oh, no, it's just literally just treasure. Nice. I like how this is all this stuff that you could totally miss if you were just like trying to do the story stuff and like just going forward because I'm silly coded. I have to look for all these little secrets and follow every single path. Poop snake. I'm gonna heal, I think. But I think I'm gonna use a potion. Nice, okay. Wait, why did it just like me why did it just let me save? Okay, I thought I was gonna die. Allison? What Mel? What are you doing all the way out here? Just felt like taking a hike? Wait, what's that? Did you get hurt? Oh, this is just a scratch. 
Funny story, actually. See, I was just minding my own business on break at work, smashing some bottles I had lying around for fun. You know, same old, same old. But I noticed that one of the bottles I smashed had a treasure map hidden inside. Awesome, right? Figured my mom must have buried some treasure out here and hid the map in a bottle at the house. A long, short, long story short, I got jumped by a monster and chased it here to give it a piece of my mind. It kinda got away. Here, let me see where you're hurt. I want to try something. Sure. Okay, Melody, focus. Remember what you studied. Positive thoughts. Square breathing. Channel your mana, channel your mana into your palms. <gasps> She's doing it! Melody cast first aid! She did it! Oh my god, it worked! Whoa, Mel, that's incredible! You can really pull off healing spells like that already. Oh, it's just an entry-level first aid spell. It took me like two weeks to just get that one down, even with Claire's magic books. And I can't exactly do much more than that. You really feel better? Yeah, I feel great! Give yourself some credit! Going from zero magic to being able to do that is pretty amazing. Oh dear. Hey Mel, I know this is a lot to ask, but you think you could lend me a hand here? What is it? Whole hound! It's a whole hound! What? That's crazy, dog. What? Where did it go? It went in the hole? Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna use this, and then I'm gonna do that. Where's the whole hand? There it is! Because I can tank the hits at the very least. At the very least, I can tank the hits. Jesus Christ! Hey doll, <laughs> thanks for the raid. How <laughs> was your stream, pal? Welcome everybody from Dell's stream. I know you guys are playing Minecraft because I was there a few minutes ago and I was... I'm a... Hold on, I was a silly... I'm a mod. Hello everyone, my name's Vinyl Strawberry. I'm a bit sick right now. Um, and Fish I... Fish soup cereal laughing face, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Fish soup cereal. You lost your mind? Good. Uh, hi, my name is Vinyl Strawberry. I'm a bit sick right now, but um, I'm like a low-key variety streamer. Right now we're playing Super Lesbian Animal RPG. It's a game that I really wanted to play for like a few months now, and I'm finally getting the chance to do it on stream. Um, you just you play as Melody, and she's a fox girl, and her girlfriend's a rabbit, and you, you're an RPG. It's like D&D. &D. It's so much fun. This game's art style already looks cute. This thing, this thing we're fighting is called a it's called a whole hound, by the way. So, we're gonna kill the fuck out of it. Um, and get back into the story real quick. The day we break a sweat, sick. This game is a lot of fun though, this game is really fun. And the protagonist uh, that you play as is a trans girl. Uh, she's just like me for real. Your icon is so cute, bunny girl rep. Thank you, thank you for- I, I made it myself, this is deadass, just me, dog. I'm a silly little cow, I'm a silly little cow. Bunny girl rep, for real. I think we scared it off. Isn't it a little weird to see a monster this close to town? It happens. It's just a whole hound. I find things like that poking around in my garbage at least once a year. So uh, anyway, hey, haven't seen you in forever. Oh, so chat. They're... They're, they're girlfriends. Mel and Ad El Allison are, are their girlfriends. They're girlfriends and they're going on an adventure. They're gonna be going on adventures like in D&D. &D. Or like Pathfinder, if you're into that, I guess. Really liking that new look. It's adorable. I was... Oh, okay. You really think so? I was trying to go for a healer look. It's not too much, is it? No way. You look great. I mean, I always think you're adorable, but today especially so. So, since you're here and I'm no longer busy, why don't we, like, do something together? I missed having you around, you know? Let's go do something fun. What, like, couple stuff? Like a date? Yeah, totally. Normal couple stuff. No magic, no guild, no monsters. Just a chill afternoon together. You know what? You're right. I think a relaxing day off would be good for me. 
Or at least half a day off. That's the spirit. Do you have something in mind for us to do? A kiss would be a good... The bunny girl's got the riz, that's what I'm saying. Hell yeah. Cutscene, cut... Fantastic. Fantastic. Amazing. Beautiful game. Beautiful gameplay, everybody. Top 10 cinematics. Better than game, game of the year. This is game of the year right here. Game of the year. Are you kidding me? So what now? I don't know. We'll figure something out. Let's just look around town and find something fun to do. Your girlfriend has joined the party. That's sick, dog. Okay, I have something for her then. Okay, sick. Awesome. I, I bought stuff. Wonderful MS Paint? Wonderful MS Paint. Top tier. Top tier cinematics. Oh wait, I think this means I get to see uh, her player model now too. So everyone, this is- uh, hold on, I'm gonna hide chat real quick. Where are you guys? Where are you little scrimblies? There you go. So this is the character we're playing as. We're playing as Melody. This is what she looks like. And uh, this is her girlfriend, Allison. And that's the first time I'm stealing, seeing her full art. Oh my god, I love this game so much. This game is- ah, This game has me. This game has me so normal, dog. I swear, I'm so normal about this game. I'm so normal. <laughs> Best thing, one of the one of your friends in this game is a cowgirl, like a literal cowgirl. This game was made for me, a furry lesbian. I swear to you, I'm so normal about this chat. But how was Dem stream? Did you guys like it? Did you guys enjoy it? I'm gonna go kill whatever's over here because I feel violent right now. I'm so violent. How was Dem stream though, guys? Oh my god, it's meow shrooms. Dem cried over villagers up until the stream ended. Good. Um, what I'm gonna do is... I'll heal... Oh god, I didn't mean to attack that guy twice. I'm gonna heal after... Oh, I missed! I'm gonna heal after this battle, I think. I'll heal myself after this battle. Yippee! Yay, leveling up. Uh, gold. Ah! Unlucky Fantasy, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the Strawberry Field. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you guys want to join the Discord, you can type exclamation point Discord in chat to get notifications and stuff. Want to help with the dodo goal, but the donation thing doesn't work for me? That's totally fine. That's no problem. It's alright. Every little bit helps no matter what it is. Thank you very much. And by the way, if you guys want to join the Discord server, I have a Discord server. Just type exclamation point Discord in chat. Or like exclamation point Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Oh boy, look who's here. Should we avoid Paula? I know you two don't exactly get along. Nah, you can say hi if you want. It's not like she won't notice us. Let's just try to make it quick. Oh good, it's you. Nero was worrying that I'd get a solid half hour of peace and quiet in before my shift without anyone bothering me. Yeah, nice to see you too, Paula. So, Goletta, are the rumors true? The ones about you giving up on that adventuring nonsense? Nope, it's going better than ever, actually. As a matter of fact, we just fended off a wild hole hound. Wow, maybe next time you'll fight a real monster. I don't like this. I don't like Paula. I don't like Paula. She mean bitch coded. Who started that rumor about me calling it quits anyway? Oh, that was me. Then why did you- You know what? Never mind. Just try not to miss me too much when I'm out being a famous hero. Yeah, I'll always cherish my many memories of you being late for your shifts and texting on the job while I did all the actual work. That's certainly one way of remembering it. But hey, I'll send you a card when you're hospitalized for getting stomped on by a dragon. Or whatever it is you run off to do. How thoughtful. Look, I'm just trying to be realistic. A slacker like you? I give it a week before you realize how tough it is out there. Who else do you have on your crew? Amaranth here? Poor girl's gonna have a heart attack the first time you run into something big. Pigsby? Can't believe you trust her. Typical magic user. Massive ego. Huge magnet for trouble. She'll probably stab you in the back. That was cool, but I don't know how the hell you convinced her to look after a bunch of newbies. 
Y'all can pretend all you want. You can take shortcuts, but whatever you're trying to do takes real talent. And you can only pretend to have talent for so long. But yeah, have fun with your little LARPing club. Bring me back a souvenir. Wow, look at the time. It's been fun, Paula, but Melody and I have a prior engagement, so... Why did we do that? I feel like I could have... I'm never gonna get those minutes back on my life of being, like, just absolutely shit on by this panda lady. She is so mean, I want her. That's real. That's very real of you to say. Oh my god. It's good to know that people from Dems chat are also degens. You guys are crazy. Ow! Um, she's also a bear, not surprising based on the vibes, right? Hey you two, over here. What's up, Beverly? You two seem like you go for a slice of cake. What makes you say that? I'm just very perceptible, Melody. I can tell these things. I've also got ki I've also- And also, I've kinda got a half a leftover chocolate cake in my fridge. I would rather share it with my friends than throw it out tomorrow. What do you think, Mel? Yeah, that sounds nice. Let's treat ourselves. Free cake. Free cake for being gay. Here we are. Two slices of chocolate cake for the lovely couple. Enjoy. Sure you don't want us to pay for this? Oh no, it's on the house. I probably owed one of you a favor anyway. Thank you, Beverly. I'll leave you two alone then. Holler if you need me. Gay cake. <gasps> we love it. We love it when gay moments heal. You know, if we were a real couple, we'd be sitting here drinking one milkshake with two straws. You wanna ask for a milkshake? You just have a milkshake if you want one. Oh, no, no, that would be way too much sugar even for me. So, what have you been up to lately? It's been a while since we, you know, talked. I've mostly been studying all that material on healing magic that Claire gave me. Lots of little mana management exercises, deep breathing, focusing your thoughts on a spell, that sort of stuff. Nice, but you could have done some of that studying with me, you know. I know, I'm sorry I haven't been around lately, I just... I don't know. Oh, come on, talk to me, Mel. I guess it just feels like people would think I wasn't taking it seriously if I didn't at least get a simple healing spell or two down before showing my face again. I wanted everyone to see that I really am trying my hardest. I mean, I admire your commitment, and I'm real impressed by that healing spell you used on me. It felt... It kind of felt like the fresh, tingly sensation you get after rinsing with mouthwash. Except everywhere. But you do know everyone's got your back, right? You don't have to prove anything to anyone. I don't know, it's complicated. Explain your feelings further or change the subject. Because when has lying ever gone right? In a relationship, ever. Everyone's so encouraging. Well, everyone except Paula, I guess. But are they just saying that because they're our friends? Like... They don't know I'll succeed. They can't see the future. I've never done anything like this before. They're just trying to be supportive. Part of me thinks all that support means I have a lot to live up to now, and that I'll let everyone down if that doesn't work out. But it's not like I want everyone to tell me they think I'll fail, you know? It's complicated. Melody. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm just overthinking things. Ignore me. What about you? Have you gotten much training done? Eh, not really. Claire says at a certain point, I'll only get more better at fighting monsters by, you know, fighting monsters. I haven't had a chance to go out in an expedition or anything. And a whole hound or two aside, there aren't a lot of monsters to fight around town. Too bad that Faith and the Paladin Brigade are so good at their jobs, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably give you the big news. Brace yourself for this one. I'm braced. I quit my job. Yep, no more working my butt off chopping down trees for minimum wage. Put in my two weeks notice, uh, two weeks ago now, actually. Which means I can focus on adventuring full time. Now, do we be supportive, or do we be questionably supportive? Do I be nice and supportive or not? Nice! I guess you've really got a good feeling about this guild thing, huh? I really do. I mean, why shouldn't I? 
I know it's a risk, but if this works out, I'll be making way more money than at my old job. And even if it's hard work, I'll be doing something fun with my friends and with all the love of my- And with the love of my life? Oh. Oh, speaking of the gu guild, have you seen Claire lately? Jody says she's been working on some kind of project. Yeah, no idea what's up with that. Claire never tells me anything. You know how she can be. Although, you said no guild business today. Well, uh, I'd at least like to tell her about the progress I've made. Fair enough. Hey, Beverly, what about you? Any idea what Claire's been up to? I don't know. All that magic stuff Claire gets up to is way over my head. But I'm sure it's something cool knowing her. I'm not sure if knowing it involves magic makes me more or less concerned. Soul RPG? Yeah. Super lesbian animal RPG. Welcome back. Slarp girls, slarp girls, slarp girls. I'd try asking Jody if you were. Well, thanks for the cake, Beverly. It was great as always. You're welcome. Where are you two heading off to now? Not sure. We haven't really thought that far ahead. Why do you ask? Claire said something about you getting special magic healing powers from the power of love or something like that. Is that true? Yeah, more or less. Wow. What'll they think of next? Anyway. Claire asked me to keep an eye on you two and make sure everything's hunky-dory with your relationship to make sure your magic keeps working. That's... <laughs> a little weird. Hold on, I need water. Everything's cool, though. You don't have to worry about anything. I thought so. But hey, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'll be around. Maybe we should go ask Jody what Claire's up to, just to have some peace of mind. Isn't that what Dad does? What? What do you mean? Is that what Dad does? What do you mean by that? Uh, hold on, I'm gonna save here, actually. Well, that's a relief. What is it? You two are spending time together. Been pretty worried about Allison lately. What are you talking about, Jody? I've been perfectly fine. If by perfectly fine you mean starve for attention because your girlfriend was ignoring you, then sure. You say that as if I'm not always looking for attention. Allison, if you missed me so much, why didn't you just come over to my place? You know, that's a good question. Thank you. Oh, they're so cute, dog. If you two lovebirds don't need me anymore, I'm just gonna go back to what I was doing. You were doing nothing, Jody. Uh, how come you're not with Faith? How come you're not hanging out with Faith? It's so rare to see her get this much free time. She wanted to do a little painting, so I figured I'd let her have some space. I mean, it's not like we have to hang out all the time. I understand she's a busy person. There's a big wizard cat in the corner. Yes, there is. And he used to be evil. Pronoun check. She, her, it, it. Many neo pronouns. Uh, exclamation point pronouns. In the, in the chat. Exclamation point pronouns. Pretty sure. Yes. Pronouns. Oh lord, he coming. Oh god. I just appreciate the time I managed to spend with her. And the rest of the time I let her live her own life. Wow, Jody, that's... Smart. Emotionally mature. Oh, it's proof that Mel and I are Green Ridge's true power couple. Up top. Oh, actually, have you seen Claire oh, lately? Oh lord, he coming. Oh lord, he coming. Nope, she's... She says she's busy with some sort of top-secret, very important guild project. One that she didn't want my help with. Aren't you a little concerned about what Claire's up to? Maybe. But I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Jody, sometimes I worry you let Claire get away with too much. What do you mean? How about the time she accidentally cast a spell that swapped your arms with your legs? It's stars. <laughs> OMG, it star red, but you're so right. You're so right. We're so valid for that one. Hey, magic's tricky. She fixed it and learned from her mistakes, and that's all that matters. What about the time Province was trying to get a give a speech but her mic wasn't working? Oh yeah, didn't she try to cast a volume increasing spell in Province? But it was way too loud and it wouldn't wear off for like 48 hours. Yeah, and Province kept trying to keep quiet, but of course Holly and Rhett kept trying to get her to rise out of one of her trying to get a rise out of her because they thought it was hilarious. Actually, that was pretty huh, funny in hindsight. Listen, I'm Claire's roommate, not her mother. She's also an adult. It's not my job to discipline her or anything. I mean, come on, we all make mistakes. Once I was trying to practice 
this force shield spell with Faith, except I accidentally made it way too big. It smashed right through the office, through the wall in her office. I didn't even know about that. I'm gonna have to remember that one for the next time you rag on me for breaking stuff. Yeah, great. Look, all I'm trying to say is, Claire needs someone to be supportive of her and her ambitions. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I saw Claire looking for something in your basement, Allison. She's been down there a while. We should probably go check on that. Okay, you guys want me to talk to the big fat cat again? He's an evil sorcerer, though, I, I mind you. You need to understand, he is an evil sorcerer. Let me in peace, you hula- Oh, he just won't even let me talk to him again. Because I've already talked to him. I guess you guys will have to check out the VOD. You won't let me talk to him again. He- he does have a daughter and a granddaughter who run this magic shop, though. They're cool. When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like my grandpa. A powerful sorcerer? No, evil! Anyway, this store's not really open today. So you should come back tomorrow and buy some spell books. Maybe I will. Oh lord, he coming. Look at how slow he's going. Oh, I forgot there's a there's a there's a sprint button. I totally forgot there was a sprint button. Okay, where's basement? Yeah, I like that photo too, but uh... Who are you talking to, Mel? Oh, sorry, I've been talking to myself a lot lately. That's okay, everyone talks to themselves from time to time. Who took this photo again? Beverly, this, was one, this one was a few months ago, remember? Oh yeah. She was so happy for us when we started dating, she said she just had to get a picture. She likes to think she knew we were soulmates since like 8th grade or something. I'm gonna clock out, I like your stream, it's, I like how your stream is set up, it's so cute, thank you! Thank you for stopping by! I hope to see you again eventually. Bye bye. Thank you for the follow as well. I'm not sure that that tracks. I mean, you've known- you've known you were a lesbian since middle school, but I didn't even know I was a girl until I was like 16. Thank you for the hydrate. Okay, there we go. Why would she have thought we'd ever end up dating back then? Well, she didn't exactly say she knew we'd end up dating. She just said she knew there was something special about us. That really is kind of psychic like that. I mean, this isn't exactly much room for me to put stuff in here. True. Maybe someday I'll actually be able to afford to move somewhere that has more room for my stuff. Let's try to keep it within the realm of possibility. Okay, where's the basement? Think of the children. I would like to say. What would you like to say? Thank you so much for that. Where's the basement? Epic, epic. <laughs> oh, there's the basement. I'm just stupid. <gasps> there she is. It's the cow lady. It's the cow lady. It's the cow lady. Claire, what? Why are my basement walls covered in trash? I can assure you, it's not trash. I like the lights, they're... festive? How long have you been in my basement? What are you even doing here? 
listen, I'm sure you have a lot of questions and I can answer those questions if you have some free time and think you're ready for something special. We're ready. I guess we're ready. What are we ready for exactly? Wonderful. All you need to know is that your basement is now the entrance to... Have fun, straw. Strabby. Thank you. A dungeon. What? Oh dear. See, as your new guild master, it's my responsibility to give the two of you a proper education when it comes to adventuring. Our previous attempts have been interesting, but it was obvious we needed to start at smaller. At 3 a.m.? Go to bed, dog! What are you doing? Bell, go to bed! It's bedtime! Jeez. It was obvious we needed to start smaller. I needed a controlled subterranean environment to really replicate that authentic dungeon experience in a more accessible manner. And in case you hadn't noticed, this is the only house in the neighborhood with a basement. Lucky you! So now your house has this cool underground labyrinth that we get to explore together! As a team! It'll be so much fun! Claire, just because you're my new boss or whatever doesn't mean you get to burst into my basement and do some radical movie modeling. Okay, first of all, you hardly use this basement, let's be real. This place is a rental! How am I supposed to explain this to my landlord? I'm sure they'll see this, that this adds a lot of value to their property. Look at all the extra square footage! And where the hell did you put my stuff, huh? It's... It's around here somewhere. I may have put it in hammerspace storage or something, I don't know. I don't even know what to say! How about, wow, thanks Claire, you sure did put a lot of effort into handing us our first adventure on a silver platter. Okay, this is... a lot. But let's all stop and take a deep breath, okay? No yelling. Melody... What about you? Isn't this perfect for you? You get to do your training right from the comfort of your own girlfriend's home. Well, underneath it. I've been practicing- you've been practicing those spells I gave you, right? Don't you want a chance to show them off? Come on, this will be fun. This sounds more like Chloe's idea of fun. Claire, this sounds more like your idea of fun than mine. No, no believe me, I'd find it just as fun to drag you two to the library and lecture you on your new magical powers in a more academic setting. But putting you in mildly dangerous situations and making you use your new abilities as part of a team is much easier! Building an entire dungeon is the easy solution. In what world is building an entire dungeon the easy solution? Allison is more of a hands-on learner. That is true! So I figured the easiest way to teach her how to fight monsters is, well, let her fight monsters. Just in a controlled environment. Wait, monsters? Real monsters? Well, real-ish. They're more like dark magic constructs, I guess. They'll still put up a fight, though. Huh, I do like fighting. Okay, fine. I'm still not crazy about this basement dungeon idea, but I've been dying to see some action. Just make sure you put everything back to normal later. I don't need rowdy basement monsters trying to eat my face in the middle of the night or whatever. I'll put it on my to-do list. Anyway, I was waiting for Jody to show up before starting, but you know what? I think we can handle this on our own. It'll just be three pals on a fun-filled dungeon adventure. Are you really sure that's a good idea? Come on, what's the worst that could happen? So much. Claire dooms the planet! Oh, actually, could we postpone? We were kind of on a date or whatever. More or less. I mean, unless you're okay with being a third wheel. I don't really care. Claire joined your party as the third wheel! Let me see. Let me see her character stuff. Okay, fair warning, I could start macking on my girl at any time. No, really, you don't say. She's primarily driven by impulse, Claire. Sure. Some real hardcore tonsil hockey if you catch my drift. Okay, that might be an exaggeration. Listen, you two are making it weird, just, just so you know. Can we go now? Swap and spit! I get it, Allison. Planting a big smacker. Smoochin'. 
This is your revenge for me trashing your basement, isn't it? Face sucking. Locking lips. Pucker. Puckering up. Watching submarine races. Can we just go already? Hold on, I want to see her character art. <gasps> Guys! Guys, she's just like me for real. She's just like me for real. Look at how cute she is. She's just- hold on, hold on, where am I? Look, she's just like me for real. She's just like me for real. What's in here? Oh my god, wait, there's actual stuff down here. I don't even remember what's in these boxes. Let's see if there's something cool in here. Allison, don't you know what's in your own basement? You gotta have some mysteries in your life, Mel. It keeps things interesting. Oh my god, there's just stuff here. Uh, okay, no more stuff. Gotcha. Oh, and if you feel like this is too rough, there's always plan B. Just open up your inventory and use the difficulty selector in your key items tab to enable easy mode. I thought I was already playing on easy mode. The basement dungeon. Dust bunnies! The e cowgirl swag. <laughs> is this like, is, is that like the opposite of Delta having T-boy swag? Bet. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna- what kind of skills does she have? Scorch? I'm gonna scorch the fuck out of the dust bunny. Yippee! I can use magic! Ooh, and I leveled up! I om I did almost say T-Girl swag, but I realized my brain just blundered. No, no, it's T-Girl swag. That is it. I got tea cow I got tea girl tea girl cow swag. I wanna go this way. This way looks ominous. Ooh! There's a chest in here, so yeah, I wanna go here. Time to fight dust bunnies. Dust bunny sage? But how tea? Your E not T. No, T doesn't stand for testosterone, it stands for trans. Um, um, okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. Kiss Allison, give Allison a little peck on the cheek to boost morale and raise all her stats by 15% for five turns? Yes. Mom, pick me up, I'm scared. GG. That is such a cute, that is such a cute attack. Are you kidding me? All her stats are boosted for 15 turns? Or whatever, or for five turns by five, 15? 15% 5 turns. That's awesome. I can't can't have too many of these. Oh, it's just gold. Okay. Basement dungeon key. Wow, even the keys are cardboard. Hey, if you think you can make a better dungeon with real locks and keys, be my guest. This game is kind of my everything right now. Wait, what's down here? Oh, I see. Oh, oh, okay, I see, 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 I see. I do see. You, time for die. Dust Bunny Sage and a Dust Bunny. Preemptive strike. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do it again. Kiss Allison. Fuck up the Dust Bunny. Scorch the fuck out of this Dust Bunny. Oh, it dodged it. Okay. Oh my god, it's burning. Claire, why did you think it was a good idea to light it on fire? Huh. Kinda looks like it's demonic side is coming out. 
Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, I gotta heal. I gotta heal Allison. I gotta heal Allison. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, that thing is beefy. That wasn't so bad. Oh yay, Claire leveled up. Grind core T. What is that? Oh, I'm definitely gonna give it to her then. Okay, down here then. Yippee! Free stuff. Ten gold! Nice. Oh, really, Claire? Only ten gold? Money doesn't go on trees, you know. Actually, couldn't you use magic to plant a money tree or something? I almost tried that once, but it turns out it's considered counterfeiting and it is very illegal. Who knew? It's just, if you're only gonna put ten gold in there, why bother putting a chest out here? The chest itself is probably worth more. Actually, hey, can we just take the chest? Please don't. Look, okay, here's a spare potion I was keeping in case of emergency. Happy now? A little. You were keeping secret potions? You didn't really think I'd let two of my best friends get horribly maimed in a dungeon, did you? Wow. Thanks for the vote of confidence, guys. That one was a little mean, I will admit. What's down here? Yay, time to kill things. Okay. Oh, it just straight up missed, okay. I'm so good at RPGs. It's not even, it's not even like... It's not even fun. It's not even funny. I'm so good at- I'm so good at RPGs. Oh my god, I see people in the Discord. I see Delta in a Discord call. I see him. I know what I'm interrupting when I'm done with this. Picnic set! Ooh, a picnic set! Wow, how nice of you to provide refreshments in your dungeon, Claire! That's enough to heal all of us in a pinch. Be sure to use it wisely. Also, remember that we can't use a picnic set while in the middle of a fight. I mean, it's your dungeon, Claire. Couldn't you just make the monsters wait for us to have our snacks? That depends! Can you eat a whole meal in six seconds? Is that a challenge? Please don't ruin this lovely picnic set I bought trying to scarf it down in one combat turn. I love this game. I am absolutely in love with this game. Oh my god. Tip. Fleeing from a battle, you can sometimes feel overwhelmed by the foes you encounter. Ma- We're gonna have a talk about this later. <laughs> Basement dungeon key, bat. You know, I have to admit, I'm actually kinda having fun here, Claire. Good, I worked really hard on this. Well, we got two keys, what now? Oh, I guess it's open now. Okay, this is it, you two. The final battle. What's in there will put your skills to the test more than anything we've faced so far. Oh dear. Hope you two are ready, are ready for a tussle. A tussle? Really? Well, what's wrong with calling it a tussle? Uh, the way you hype this up, it sounds like more than a little tussle. Maybe a brawl? Ooh, what about a freka? Can we just get this over with? Those monsters are, act are itching for a tussle. Now you're just being difficult. I'm always being difficult.
Okay, that. Here we go, my first real chance to show you two what I've got. Don't blink, you guys! Big dust bunny. I wonder if the kisses can stack. I'm gonna try setting it on fire. Oh my god! Why is he buff? Why is the dust bunny buff? Ooh, I dodged that. Okay, sick. I'm enjoying this. I'm actually having a lot of fun. I wonder if these sta- Ooh, Paladin's Gift. Melody sacrifices some of her star power to restore it. Oh, okay, so that's just what that is. Big Dust Bunny has been defeated. Sick. Oh, this game is awesome. Didn't even break a sweat. Cool beans. Hey, can I- uh, ooh, a cardboard box! Found the Zykron- the Zykron- the Zykon Saber? Oh, a sword! Ooh, this thing looks sick! Go ahead and take it, Allison. Did you leave this here just for me? That's actually really nice of you. That's a very thoughtful gift, Claire. I pulled some strings to get some nice treasure for the dungeon. I mean, could have kept it for myself, but fighting with swords is so uncouth compared to pyrokinesis. I'm so happy that I'm not even going to complain about how stupid that comment was. Actually, this sword is supposed to be enchanted, but it looks like the gem in the hilt isn't the original. So right now it's just a normal sword, which is probably why I got it for so cheap. But hey, maybe we'll find a replacement gem when we go on some real adventures. Now we're talking. Do you really think we're ready for that? Sure, you two got through my dungeon just fine. A real one would be only be marginally more life-threatening. Marginally? Hey, don't worry, Mel. No clown's gonna hurt my girlfriend on my watch. Promise. There usually aren't clowns. We should probably head outside ASAP, though. I'm not entirely sure how structurally sound this dungeon is. You're only warning about this now. This place is pretty much made of cardboard. I don't know what you expected. Whatever, let's just get out of here, Mel. Hold on, I want to give it to her then. I mean, I guess you could wear this as armor. I'm giving her the I'm giving her the cardboard box as a reminder. I'm giving it to her as a reminder of her. What? Okay, I didn't put a wall here. Well, it's kind of in the way. We just have to find a way- another way out, I guess? Oh, I get it. This is another test for us, isn't it? Very clever, Claire. N no, it's- it's not. I'm a little freaked out, honestly. I have no idea where that wall came from. You've got a lot of tricks up your sleeve. Can't you burn the wall with a fire spell or something? No, I fireproofed this dungeon pretty thoroughly so I can cast Scorch without burning through the place down. That's just trying to find another exit, like Claire said. There's gotta be a crack in the wall or something, okay, Mel? I've got a bad feeling about this. When did that get there? Pardon me? Several minutes ago in Green Ridge. Man, I'm bored. The girls have been down in Allison's basement an awful long time. Wonder what they're up to. Probably nothing, right? They would have invited me if they had plans. Maybe I should just go check on. Oh, a text from Faith. Grab your armor and meet me at the tower ASAP, it's urgent. Don't tell anyone. I'm scared. I am thoroughly terrified now.
Why does it say danger? This doesn't exactly look like a way out. How did we even end up in this cave? I mean, there are a lot of caves under Green Ridge, right? Yeah, but we went, what, east then south? Shouldn't we be back in the east of the dungeon? Claire, shouldn't you know where we are? I never found this cave when building the dungeon, so no, I'm not quite sure where we are. Maybe we should turn around before we get lost in a cave. Didn't exactly see any other holes in the wall up there, this is kind of our only option. Besides, you two were looking for adventure, right? Look, on the bright side, what's more adventurous than getting lost in a mysterious cave? This danger sign isn't very reassuring. Oh man, are we? What? what what's up? I, I might know where we are. I have no idea how we ended up here, though. Let's just say I hope I'm wrong. Oh yeah, I actually know where we are. Let's turn back. Wait, why? What is that? Come on, there's a chest up ahead. We're obligated to open that as adventurers. It's, uh... It's a curse, yeah. An old Goletta family heirloom that's extremely cursed. Mom sealed it away in that treasure chest. You realize that just makes me want to open the chest even more now, right? Okay, we're going back. We're just gonna go back. Like, nothing happened. Never mind. <laughs> I guess we have to. I guess we have to. Chest is also booby trapped. I hope you realize I'm not buying a single word of this. I'm just gonna not I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it, chat. There's no there's no reason. There's no reason to go to go grab it. There is no good reason to go grab a cursed chest. Oh whoops, I must have spaced out. I was supposed to open the chest first. Let's head back and get that. That's not actually. Okay, I guess I can't even I guess I have to open it though. Allison's photo album? Yeah, it's... yeah. Hey, this is your mom's photo album. What's this doing here? It's... well... Okay, so when I was 18, I was trying to start fresh. I wanted to shake off some of the middle and high school dweebiness, you know? Kinda like remarking on social media. So after my mom left, I kinda hid this photo album of hers, filled with embarrassing photos of me in a cave so no one would ever see it. Wow, and I thought I was melodramatic. I, I guess I'm, it might have been a too much. You know what this means, though, right? I've got to see what's in the photo album. What? No way. Come on, how bad can it be? Melody, back me up here. Aren't you curious, too? I mean, I've probably seen most of them before. If we dug enough, we'd probably even find some photos of me. You know what? Fine. It's probably nothing that embarrassing. Just a quick peek, though, okay? Aww. Oh my god, is that your mom? Choose your next words carefully, Claire. She's just like me. All cows are the same. All cows are the same. Oh, I was just gonna say she looks like a total badass. I definitely buy all the stories you've told me about her now. What, you didn't believe them before? How old is this one? You look really young here. I think this was before we moved here, so maybe four or five? Which explains why my hair is a total mess. Hard to remember a time when you didn't spend an hour a day on your hair. What's next? <laughs> it's Buzzy Kings. Oh my god, it's Buzzy Kings. It's Buzzy. It's Buzzy for real, guys. Oh my god. Uh, who's this? Do you have a sibling I don't know about? That's me. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I had a scene phase for a brief period in high school. I know, it's stupid. No way, it's cool, you were just expressing yourself. My parents would have killed me if I tried something that extreme. Anyway, next. Oh, Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Your mom dressed you up as a carrot! I was one year old. The hell was I supposed to do? Oh man, that's, that's just great. The humble origins of the legendary hero, Alison Goleta. Yeah, I definitely remember why I hid this thing. 
Okay, relax, I'm only teasing. This is adorable. You should be thankful for your mom preserved all these happy memories for you. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, that was fun, but we're still stuck in a cave. A cave that, if I remember correctly, should be on the other side of town. Something is definitely going on around here. Allison, you said you've been in this cave before, right? Has this void always been down here? Yeah, no. Well, this is incredible. Sort of looks like the fabric of reality is falling apart. No, it, it just looks like we're back in your dungeon. And that weird magic you had going on with the floor is leaking out. Or something. Quit trying to freak us out with your bonding through danger shtick. No, I, I really mean it. This is not part of the dungeon I designed. Okay, Claire, listen. It is possible. That maybe, when summoning the dust bunnies, you got a little more than you bargained for. Not a chance. I was incredibly careful about this. It takes much more energy to summon more powerful creatures. At least a small amount of mana to summon exactly as many dust bunnies as I needed. Now I think we've stumbled upon something else. A sofa? Well then, looks like a pretty nice one too. You know, I could really go for a nap. I'm pretty tired from all this dungeon, but I think I'm gonna pop a squat on this couch and pass out for a bit. Really? Right here, in this part of the dungeon that shouldn't even exist. I'm a sleepy bunny, Claire. I wasn't expecting to go on some wild dungeon adventure today. I need a sec to recharge. I could probably use a rest, too. There's no way I'm gonna go on ahead without Allison. Of course. Well, I suppose some rest could do us good. Let's take a power nap. The thruple is cuddling. The thruple is cuddling, I repeat. The what? Oh. Oh, this doesn't look good at all. Oh my god, this soundtrack is banging, though. Pardon me? Pardon me? Poor barrier controls, insert key. It looks like I can push this block from the other side. Okay, bet. The Anomaly. That's awesome. Okay, this is awesome. This is sick as hell. What? Okay. I see, I see. Interesting. One of these crystals doesn't look like the others. Stop, 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 stop. Most of an egg appears. Most of an egg. Dust bunny sages. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, awesome. We're really just going at it then. Nice! Ooh, level up, nice. Level up. Oh, I found a key. Oh, okay. Rip in space time. So can I punch it? Oh, I can just punch it. Nice, I could just punch rifts in space time. 
I didn't know that. Creepy. Creepy. Another rift in space time. Oh gosh. I'm gonna help with the dust bunny first. And then I think I'll just get some heals quickly. Oh, this is making me really- this is making me really ex Okay, this isn't gonna make any sense why, but this is making me really excited for Fire Emblem Engage to come out. Cause Claire to briefly disappear, making her completely invulnerable for one turn. Ooh! I'll do that. That sounds cool. Oh, she's piecing out! She's peacing out! Ooh, I haven't even figured out what kind of skills Allison has, actually. Kiss Melody- Oh, she can kiss Melody! Yoink! Attempt to steal an item or gold from the enemy. Right jab. High kick. Dive bomb. I'm gonna do that, actually. That sounds fun. Seven gold! Nice! I didn't know she had those kind of abilities. That sounds awesome! Ooh, she can learn Frost. This game is awesome. Are you kidding me? Is this a computer? This thing is downright ancient. So old, I don't even think a mouse- it doesn't even have a mouse, it just has arrow keys. I wish it had a trackball, that'd be fun. Allison, were you the type of kid in school who would always steal the trackballs from the old mice in the computer lab? How short-sighted do you think I am, Claire? I couldn't have gone and played Flash games in the middle of class without a functioning mouse. True. Anyway, Melody, what does it say on the screen? It might be important. It almost looks like an email client? There's a message up on the screen. Things will get interesting down there once the process starts. So you may want to know this spell to clear away a certain type of corruption. V. There are directions for some kind of healing spell. That might help us get out of here. Purify. Clear block paths in the dungeon and cure party members of corruption. Things have most definitely gotten interesting, so uh, thanks V. Who could this message actually be for, though? What's this process, and why is there a functioning computer in the middle of, well, wherever we are? I'm personally too concerned about getting back to the surface to look a gift horse in the mouth here, Claire. One also builds Molly star power. Okay, cool. Interesting. How do I get to the other stuff then? It's like I can push this from the other side, okay. Oh wait, corruption, corruption. There's like corruption over here, right? Oh, that's so cool. Tier of Revival. Ooh, nice. I got a res. I got a res. So, hold on. I'm gonna save. Okay, 
Where else is there? Oh, there's a door right here. I didn't even see this. Just says danger, danger, danger. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's books or something. You, fight me. Thing. Rift in space, that flaming dust bunny. Okay. Frost, okay. See if that works. Oh my god, Allison is a tank. Oh my god! Nice! That's awesome! Allison's a tank! Oh, I got an ether. Nice. That looks like a mimic or something. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. Ooh, another T. Oh, oh, oh! Nice! Nice! Oh, thank you for the biddies! I'm not sticking my hand in that. see where else can I okay so I go down here that's something I can fight it is mobile hole hound that is that is just that is curse that is big curse you know what I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do this oh I can't blink but I can do this They're both super lovey-dovey, that means both of their stuff gets, like, both of their stats get increased, which is good. Oh, it resists that, okay, well. Oh, it's just the pants! It's just the pants now! The dog is back. The dog is back. Time to stomp on the dog. A uh, sudden gust of wind target one enemy deals additional damage to burned enemies. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Ooh, 12 gold. Nice. Weakness. Okay, sick. Okay, another miss. Alright, awesome. Kill, 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 kill. Allison is so cool. She's just a tank, dude. That's awesome. A key. Nice. Okay, there's a path I can go to. Up yeah, right here. What is over here? Most of an egg! Do I try frosting it then? Oh, I failed. She couldn't steal. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, that was quick! I'm gonna keep trying to steal- Oh, there it goes. I'm just gonna attack then. Uh, what's- oh wait, attack, attack, skills. Try that again. She couldn't steal anything, got it, okay. I think I'm just gonna stop trying to steal then. The mole hound is thinking about his pants! Okay, let me-
Do this. Oh my god, that did a lot. Oh my god, that did a- Oh, that was so cool. Ooh, I got something. I don't know what it was, though. Uh, found another key. I got two keys. This is fun. This is like a lot of fun. Okay. The one key go here. And then I have another one for the one that's down there. I'm also going to save while I'm down here. I'm also going to save. I have to use the bathroom. I wonder how many kisses I can do in this game. That'd be so much fun. The art style is so silly. I love it. Thank you, Eve. This this game is this game is the best. This game is the best. We're trying to find a character that's very you coded, but so far it's just me and me and me. Oh god, the whole hound. Okay. I got to play this. I got to play this. I got to play this. I got to take I got to take care of this guy. Fast basically. I don't want him getting away is the thing. Okay, 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 I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm healing. Uh, no, I don't want to kiss my girlfriend, I want to heal. Yippee, healing. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're doing it! Oh my god, we're doing it! Leveling up and everything, oh my god. Time to corruption stop it. Found a key. Go down this way. Oh, okay, well. I am so sick of this place. Okay, keys all stuck. We, keys are control. I am going to save real quick. Are we ready for this? It'd probably be a good idea to use the save station and rest up at the couch. Oh! Oh, we're not ready. I forgot that there was a save. I thought, forgot that there was like a place to like re-get health. I forgot about it. I totally forgot. So glad. I'm so glad she reminded me. I would not have remembered that there was a couch over here to like uh, get all your health and mana back. I would not have remembered that there was just a couch here. Nap time. How long have we been going for? Two hours and 30? This is like the longest stream I've had in a while. I'm so happy. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. The basement, the dungeon. Okay. I'm gonna save here now so that, just in case, do this. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Oh god. Why does it feel like the music's fading? What is that? Pardon me, what is that? Core Guardian? And I try and steal from it real quick. I want to try stealing. I'm a bad person and a bad influence. However, I got a hundred gold. <laughs> I got a hundred gold from trying to steal it. Okay, it resists being burned, so that's a good thing to know. I feel like- oh, hold on, I'm gonna try stealing from it again, because that was funny. Okay, it has nothing left. Got it. Found its weakness. Oh my god, it has so much health. Pardon me? Pardon me what? Sir? I 
I'm going to dive bomb on it, and then I'm going to keep casting Frost. Really pulled out the Pokemon Swords Dance? It really, it really just used Swords Dance. It really just used Swords Dance on me. Actually, hey, BBG, I'm going to do this for you. You're going to punch really good and blink for me, Claire. Peace out, dog. That's the funniest move ever, the fact that she literally just does the peace thing. Oh my god, ow. Okay, dodge that, that's fine. It's almost- it seems like it's almost dead. Paladin's gift, sacrifice him for star power to restore- Ooh, ooh, I'm such a good partner, I'm such a good- I'm such a good teammate. Hold on, skills? Got nothing left? Okay. But I'm just gonna hit it big. I'm gonna hit it big. Big hit. Oh no, corrupted! Oh, she's corrupted so she can't attack! That's messed up! Oh no, that's even worse! Okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, I got this. It's fine, I got this. Wait, hold on. Okay, here. Here, Kimpepa. Okay, and then you take skill. Dive bomb this bit. There we go. We did it. We defeated, I don't know, Core Guardian shield form. Great job, team. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. Level up, level up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good lord, I guess I was right about you two being ready for a bigger challenge. Just how much power did that Fortuna spell give you? As much as I'd love to gloat at the moment, I'm more concerned about the fact that this is a dead end. Should we turn back? Maybe everything shifted around back to the there to give us an exit. Pardon? Pardon? Another monster? Resorting to name calling, are we? Honestly, the nerve. You barge into someone else's property and plummel every living thing in sight, and you think I'm the monster. Um, um? Is that all you have to say for yourself? Okay, two things, dude. One, if you keep trying to scare my girlfriend, we're gonna have a problem. And two, can you lose the goofy mask? I know my good looks may be hard to believe, but this is just my face. Oh, uh, that's... uh... okay. Hmm? Nothing, don't worry about it. Oh, you think I look peculiar, do you? Well, the feeling is mutual, you weird little... ear creature. Wait, what do you know? Wait, do you not know what a rabbit is? Please, I've never claimed to be a zoologist. We don't actually think you look funny, by the way. That would be very rude to the only person who might be able to help us leave. Right, Allison? Oh, I really love that one piercing eye that stares directly into my soul thing you've got going on. As much as I love these cute little attempts to win my favor, I believe we were discussing something else. Oh yes, you three are trespassing. What are you doing here? Other than causing property damage. We were trapped in here. We're just looking for a way out and defending ourselves against the monsters, we swear. Figures. Just three locals acting like they own the place before we're even ready for guests. So you're responsible for all of this. You made this whole dungeon all by yourself? Not quite sure I'd call it a dungeon, but yes. This facility is under my jurisdiction. Things were shaping up quite nicely before you three started knocking out my underlings. Even the most of an eggs! Those poor, helpless most of an eggs. You've crushed their self-esteem. Okay, but what exactly were you doing? Building a weird labyrinth down underneath our town? I could ask you the same thing about your little dungeon now, couldn't I? Ah, so you've heard of my work. Claire, now's not the time. Uh, excuse me, I don't think we caught your name. My name is Javis. Not Javis, it's Javis. J-A-V-I-S. Everyone always gets it wrong. You may refer to me as Sir if you wish to grovel. Okay, Mr. Javis, Sir, what exactly is going on down here? Oh, I'm just making some preparations before my superior's arrival. Tidying up would be a phrase, I believe. Your superior? Who's that? <laughs> Whoops, I've said more than I should, probably. It's none of your concern. 
I'm letting you three off with just a warning. You're lucky I have better things to do right now than deal with you. Just for future reference, quit punching my subordinates. Try not to wreck anything else of mine, okay? But I love wrecking! Well, then I have good news for you, you horrible little creature. It looks like the scrambler was damaged and your little skirmish and is going critical. This whole facility will be gone in a matter of seconds. Such a shame. I'm believing now. Let's hope we never meet again. Wait. Pardon? Um. Well, okay. Are we alive? That's a good question. Claire, is this hell? Or just like a personal hell? It's a cave. That doesn't exactly answer the question. Is that whole dungeon really gone? Just like that? Looks like it. Oh, thank God. I was starting to think we'd never get out of there. See what I tell you, Mel? You got nothing to worry about with me watching your back. Thanks, Allison. I can't believe it's all gone. What a waste. Claire, that dungeon was bogus. I know, but that was like our first real adventure. It was such a good learning experience. I wish I had the chance to take notes. Next time you get stuck in a reality warping dungeon built by a talking videotape, I'll make sure rem I'm I'm sure you'll remember to bring a notebook and a pen. Now, I hope this is the last time I have to say this today, but let's find a way out of here. Yeah, let's let's go. I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to go home now. I am ready to go home, please. Oh wait, we're back here. We're back here! I keep forgetting there's a sprint button. Uh, okay, so there's something right there. I thought there was something over here that I want to check out a little bit. Unless it goes to the same place. It does- Can't seem too pleased about there being a spike pit blocking our way here. Mm, spike pit duty is usually Jody's thing. Come on, you gotta have some trick up your sleeve for spikes. You know, like a million spells. Well, I don't exactly think setting these crystal spikes on fire would improve our situation here. We'll just have to see if Jody can help us with these. Okay, so we just have to come back with Jody. That- Yippee, we did it. Oh my god, we did it! We made it out of there in one piece! Well, three pieces because there are three of us, but you get my point! See, I told you we had it under control. Are your adventures with Jody usually that whack, Claire? Or was that new? That was... well, it was something else. I'm still processing it, I think. Well, I don't know about you two, but I'm exhausted. Getting back to my place for a long nap. Before you go, maybe we should, you know... Keep what happened down there to ourselves, for now at least. If Faith finds out about the whole basement dungeon thing, we'll never hear the end of it. I'm sure anyone would believe us if we told them- I'm not sure anyone would believe us if we told them what we just saw anyway. Eh, you're the boss. No, I want to go spend time with my girlfriend. Mel, you coming with? Yeah, I could- Oh yes, I could really use some rest myself, bet. The girlfriends are girlfriending, and they're girlfriends. They're both girls and they're girlfriending. What was that, Claire? Would you like to save your progress? Save my progress, please. Later that night... Melody must have gone for a walk when she got up. Shouldn't be too hard to track her down. Oh, I get to please Allison! Probably go find Mel- okay. I guess she's somewhere over here. Couldn't sleep. Just a little restless, I guess. How'd you know I would be here? I didn't. This was my fourth guess. Want some coffee? Oh, what kind of coffee? The extremely sugary kind with very little actual caffeine. Just how you like it. You shouldn't have. But I'll take it anyway. They're so cute, dog. What? Well, today sure was interesting, huh? I certainly can't say that's how I expect to spend my Monday. 
What, you think it'd be different? Less eggs, mainly. Fair enough. Hey, you did great, though. All that healing and junk. We couldn't have done that all without you. I probably would have gotten punched clean through a wall and left a bunny-shaped hole in, like, a cartoon. I feel- I could have done better. I think I did pretty good. I think I did pretty good. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about all this. I mean, the circumstances might not have been ideal, but I don't know. Something about healing just feels right. Maybe it just feels good to be useful to someone. Mel, it's not good to judge yourself based on how useful you are. Okay, maybe that's not the right wording. It just feels nice to be helping people. You know, keeping my friends from getting hurt, making a difference in their lives. Maybe... Maybe I even finally figured out my thing. Your thing? Okay, like... Claire's got her magic, and Jody's a courageous knight with a coat of honor and all that, and you're a great fighter, and you're super cool. What stands out about me? Being pink? I don't have anything flash- I don't have any flashy talents or interesting hobbies or a cool job. I'm just kind of... around. But now maybe... maybe healing is my thing. I mean, you seem like a natural to me, but you are already got a ton- a lot of things. You're also super nice, and you're insightful, and you're generous. You're a really giving person, you know that? And of course, you're pretty cute, too. That's a plus. And look at me! I'm glad you think I'm cool, but I'm just a big dummy who likes swords and cute girls and... Cute girls with swords and run-on sentences. I guess what I'm saying is, I hope this works out. But if it doesn't, you shouldn't worry about trying to force yourself into a neat little box like that. God, I'm gonna cry. Okay. It's okay for you to just be you. I mean, I already like you for being you. Stop saying so many smart things, you big dummy. No, when you talk as much as I do, eventually you get lucky and say something smart. So what about you? Is this guild thing going as well as you'd hoped? I mean, pretty much. Aside from the weirdo limbo dimension or whatever we stumbled into, I can't complain much. You don't sound that enthused. No, I am. I'm just groggy. We're doing great. I guess it doesn't feel completely real yet. I don't have any reason to be concerned, though. It's fine. My brain's just being dumb, not letting me relax. I know the feeling. I need water. Ah. But you've wanted this your whole life, right? And pretty much. I mean, it's hard not to want to be an adventurer when most of your formative memories involve tagging along with your mom and her legendary adventures. Can't even imagine what that must have been like. Okay, well, okay. My mom probably didn't take me on her grandest adventures before we settled in Green Ridge. Probably just more toddler-friendly ones. All the legendary adventures with no sharp objects or potential choking hazards or swearing. Everything felt really grand to a little kid like me, though. My mom was the coolest person in the world to me. She isn't afraid of anything. It was like being the kid of a superhero. So I guess because of her, I always thought that being an adventurer was the coolest thing you could be. But I still feel pretty much the same. Maybe that's a bit too much to live up to. I should just be happy I'm getting the chance to do this at all. Especially with you, Melody. Hey, have I ever told you why I chose the name Melody? I don't think you have. Why do you ask? I don't know. We're just reminiscing now, I guess. So, you know... I always have to overthink everything, right? So I really wanted to make it count. I couldn't just pick any name. Melody sounded like a sweet name to me, and well, it probably sounds stupid, but I thought that in a song, the melody is sort of the centerpiece. Like the focal point of the song. It's got a certain confidence to it, and it's the part of the song that makes people pay attention the most to it, right? I don't know. That may be all wrong. Maybe I should have just taken music theory in high school. No, that makes sense to me. And I did take music theory. I thought that if I just heard it enough, I'd start to think of myself like that. Like my name represented the kind of person I wanted to become. Not just the girl part, but like everything. Someone more confident in her voice, I guess. Sorry, I'm being such a downer, aren't I? You remember what I said to you when you came out to me in faith? You said that if I spelled my name with an I, then I could dot it with a heart. And that it'd be cute. Why do we take so long to start dating? Because we're a couple of dummies. They're so cute. They're so cute. They're so cute.
Are you there, my queen? I've got a status report on the operation on, uh, whatever it is they call this horrid place. I like this guy. I like this guy. He gives off silly gender. Silly gender. Big silly gender. Big, big silly gender. Last I heard, they were calling the planet Rev... Revier? Reviri? That's the one. Anyway, I'd like to report that everything is going according to plan so far. There may have been some minor setbacks, admittedly. But not to worry. We did anticipate the possibility of interference from the locals, after all, so we've moved on to plan B. Nice work, Javis. Have you made contact with the potential recruit you had your eyes on in the Green Ridge? Affirmative. It was quite simple to sway her to our side. While she's inexperienced, she makes up for it with raw skill and passion. I see great potential in her. And if nothing else, her familiarity with the R.E.T. will be great of, of great use to us. Well, hey, if you ever forget the name of the planet you're on again, now you can just ask her. Good one, my queen. So, when should I be able to make my grand entrance? I can only keep myself preoccupied for so long while you run around playing Dungeon Master and having all the fun. Very soon, my queen. If we remain on schedule, we should be ready within 48 hours. Wonderful. I hope they're ready for me. What? Pardon me? I am extremely mildly concerned, maybe. Act 2, okay. How long have I been going? Like, two hours and thirty, I think, so I think it's okay for me to end soon. I was kind of thinking of waffles for breakfast, actually. I mean, maybe. But I'm trying to watch my carbs. You want a waffle iron we never use, though. That's literally the only thing it's made to do. Who could that be? It's Claire. Oh, it's Claire. Hey, are you two decent in there? Can I come in? Claire, I think <laughs> I'd like to think I'm better than decent. That's not what I... Look, just come meet me at the library when you can. I huh, wonder what she wants. Anyway, why don't you walk all the way over here instead of just texting us? Oh, okay, sick. So waffle. Waffle. Okay, no waffle. I need to hit the save point because I want to end right now. Alright, friends. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been very fun. But, I'm going to head out now. I'm going to head out, chat. Uh, exit game. I'm going to head out. I'm going to send you guys. Let's find someone to raid real quick. Let's find a good ending song, too. I'm gonna find someone to raid, you guys. Let's see who I know is live real quick. Um, we got Penny Snap Cube, Nate wants to battle, Sky T. Um, there's no one I really know who's alive right now. So I don't know who I should send you guys to. No one I know is, is live anyway. Um,. Yeah, I'm just gonna send you guys to. I'm gonna send you guys to Penny Snap Cube. She's playing Metroid. Because I think it'd be funny. Bye, guys! I'll see you on Wednesday, probably.